this is going to be my haul from the recent sale that Priceline was having. They had a 50% off cosmetic sale for two days. <laughs> I probably really didn't need to buy anything, but I did anyway. Um, I tried to be very careful. I actually set myself a budget and I was below the budget that I actually set myself which was really, really good, and most of the stuff that I bought was nail polish. So, the first thing I bought was the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. I've been hearing a bit about this and was very curious to try and see what it was actually like. I ended up paying $10.97 for this. So, you can see how expensive products are in Australia, this is usually over the $20 mark, which is a lot to pay for a mascara, quite frankly. The next thing I thought I would get is the Glitterati Lip Kit from Australis. This is kind of along the same lines as the um, Pat McGrath one where you've got the lipstick product that you put on and then you pat the lips the glitter over the top this one is in um, purple um, I don't know yeah <laughs> that's literally what the name is I hadn't actually checked it you get a doe foot applicator you get the lip product which it's called lip bond which is actually completely clear so it's not exactly like the graph one because that one is not completely clear it usually has like a color and then you put the thing over it not that i own one of course because i ain't paying that much for a lip product mm -mm. no 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 um and down the bottom end you have the glitter so in this case it is bright purple so I will no doubt try that at some stage and see what it is actually like. Really weird product, not the kind of thing I would normally go for, but I did see, I don't know who it was, but somebody had mentioned it on their channel, um, an Australian YouTuber had mentioned it on their channel, so yeah. Um, I got some things. Um, for a massive discount because they were actually in the discount bin and then I got another 50% off on top of that. Um, the lip, the Glitterati lip kit I paid $7.47 for, so it's normally like $15. I picked up the Essence Face Luminizer, Light Up Your Face Luminizer palette. I got this for $4.10. This is number 10 Ready Set Glow. So this has three um, highlighter type thingy what's it's in it. Um, the one that's on this end actually looks like it's matte. Let's just it's got a little piece of sticky tape across the thing. Just as well I've got my handy dandy knife. So that is what the three of them look like. So this one on this end is matte and these are both shimmery. I didn't actually try these out in store or anything, I just literally bought them. Um, because it was in the, uh, discount bin, so... Um, I also got two of the Essence nail powders because I wanted to try them out um, and see whether they're actually any good. So I got the one that is in My Little Mermaid, which is obviously a greeny blue kind of colour. doesn't look like much. It looks basically clear, but I can see it's got a bit of iridescence on it, so I will definitely try that one out. The other one I got is in Touch of Vintage, 
which I'm assuming is kind of gold. The other two were silver and something else. Um, this one is very definitely gold, um, which is why I got that one because I do already have a silver one, so um, I thought I would get a gold one. And they were both three dollars and seven cents. And while I was at it, I decided to get the ceiling top coat that they recommend for it because it was only $3.07 as well. I'm assuming by the look in the bottom there that it is just a water-based top coat. And if it is just a water-based top coat, which it is, uh, it will, and it actually says here water-based top coat, this is probably one of the cheaper ones to actually get and probably one of the more obtainable ones to actually get whilst it's still in stock. So, because um, I already have one, but it's good to have like another one. Um, then I picked up a couple of nail polishes which I have been kind of eyeing off on other people's YouTube channels and they finally arrived at my price line in Australia and they are the model's own chrome nail polishes. This one is in chrome mauve and this one is in chrome indigo. They had all of the different ones there but they were the two that I decided to go with. They were $4.47 each. Uh, in the throwaway bin or the discount bin whatever you want to call it there were four nail polishes from Essences Glow and Care line, which I've been eyeing for a while, finally decided to buy them. Um, so I have four of them here. The first one is For the Glow, which is number two. These all cost me $1.85, so totally worth it. Um, the next one is Shine On, which is number three. Then we have Love and Care, which is number five. And very caring which is number six so I am missing two of them from that particular range but that is fine that is all they had in the little bin thing and lastly it were the things I was most excited for because I have been wanting to get hold of these for a while um, because I've seen them on other people's channels and we are notoriously behind the eight ball in Australia when it comes to new releases like the out of space collection from Essence hasn't hit Australia at all. I don't even know whether it will or not, which is actually really annoying. But what has hit Australia is the Hollow Rainbow range from Essence, which come in these bottles. So I managed to get three of them. Um, the purple one and I think it was the green one were the last two of those on the shelf and I think it was the blue one there was like a couple of them. The fourth colour which I believe is Silver Hollow there wasn't any of them at all. So this first one this is Hollow Rocks which is the blue one. I have the purple one which is Hollow Love which is number four. And I have Hollow Maniac, which is number two, which is a green one. So I'm super duper excited for those to see what they're actually like. They are very clearly holographic, which is fantastic, especially for the price. I paid $2.87 for each of those because I got them 50% off. So even better worth it. So that is it for my haul from the Priceline 50% off cosmetics sale. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.